Hi guys, it's uh, raining again. It uh, just been working on a uh, few ideas and stuff. So uh, also looking at uh, my collection, um, doing pretty good. Um, yeah, the collection uh, was looking at a movie that uh, I think it was a DC and a and a, um, a Marvel film uh, back in 2013, and most of the comics that they uh, went through in this. Uh, film they uh, they also had stan lee and uh and uh they also had uh jim lee so uh it was really good to see um some of the comics that i've got uh that have been signed before um are, are pretty good and uh they're well known and stuff so yeah so i'll add value and stuff so you know i've basically put them in a vault so um i don't touch them uh i haven't touched them really for the last 20 years or so um, i bought them uh well before um i think uh, coming to sydney and uh and then buying a, a few when i came to sydney uh so but i think the last lot i've actually bought um, was about 20 years ago and slowly auctioning auctions and um, oh, um them on um so the auctions uh uh them uh online and stuff so yeah it's pretty good it's a it's a slow sunday but uh you're getting a few attention um i think uh the big one lately has been um believe it or not uh hanna barbera's space ghost so i've got um some uh bites on that um which is pretty cool uh i've got a very good uh ed um uh, it, you know, I think um, thing with Hanna Barbera was connected to the cartoons um, with the DC. Um, I think it's like Super Friends, Great Hall of Justice. So I was looking at all that sort of stuff and the Wonder Twins and all that sort of stuff. So um, yes, yeah, it, it was pretty cool, cool era, and uh, yeah, just seeing um, there's like you know collecting a few things from then. Um, but I still think. Even though I've got some really old stuff like from the 40s and 50s, um, some in very good condition, some, you know, obviously deteriorating and I'm trying to keep um, from actually ageing. Uh, very hard to do, but, you know, just put it through the plastic and, you know, a few layers of plastic uh, with the hardboard at the back. Um, but the pipe is just gone, mate. You know, it's just deteriorated. Um, because it didn't have a uh, a backing and I think the staplers have rusted and all those sorts of things. So um, even though they're very old comics, I think um, I could digitalise them. Um, but obviously the print is something that's it's going to be more valuable. Um, but really uh, the quality is just uh, shocking at the moment. But, uh, but I do have some very old ones that the paper's a little bit better um but uh yeah apart from that um it is artwork so um you'd have like art artists and writers um you know back in the early 20s and 30s and uh, through the great depression and after the war and before the war um you know working really hard on these comics so um the comics i guess is a metaphor to uh, ancient gods of greece and uh i guess it's uh as american mythology um so I've got basically, I've got a good stash of Superman, uh, Batman, um, Spider-Man, Hulk, um, Thor, and uh, who else? Yeah, Spider-Man. So yeah, so you know, basically the the main ones uh, that you probably and Captain America, obviously. So yeah, so these are probably the the bigger ones. Um, I do have um, a cross between Wonder Woman and and Superman. Uh, that's a really big one there uh, from uh, who's it uh, Jim Lee. So yeah, so it's uh, yeah I know me stuff and and uh, and and it's very good to have a good stash of um, Stan Lee signed stuff. So I've got the authenticity of those. So it's pretty cool. But enough of me, and I'm um, pretty happy with uh, the collection I got. I'm slowly getting through them. Uh, I think uh, it's it, is it. There are some delicate ones uh, that go back to uh, forty nine and uh, forty seven uh, and fifty. So they they're the 
pretty old ones that I've got and um, we'll keep those. Um, I have sold a couple of the ones that I really kind of loved and uh, and they were in that movie too. So uh, a lot of the key ones, I think the, the first Punisher, that's one of the biggest ones uh, from Spider-Man. Um, happy to have got that one. That's probably one of my better ones. And obviously the, the first annual of Spider-Man back in 64. Um, these are pretty cool uh, collections. Um, those that know me um, know that I've got a very good collection out there. Um, I collect comics like wine. Um, I also got a wine collection back in uh, overseas too. So, uh, yeah, so, but I, I love me comics more because I can read them. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it, it's a matter of really, um, you know, keeping them, uh, keeping them very clean, and uh, keeping them uh, airtight, and uh, and keeping them as new as possible. Uh, the casings help, so I do have a lot in the casings. Some I don't have in the casings, but their their quality is very very good because they've been looked after previously. So previous owners would have looked after them very well before I bought them. Um, those that aren't very good, I've bought them uh, basically because they were dirt cheap. Um, but the they're the real deal. Um, you know, uh, publication is uh, is original. Um, I think original publication uh, sometimes goes over the quality of um, I guess what what you get. Um, but usually it's white papers. Um, anything that's sort of deteriorated over time uh, dulls uh, the paper. But uh, we're living in an age where now um, everything is digitalized. Um, so how can you start collecting digitalized copy when everything is ones and zeros? Um, what I have is something that's analog. It's it's real. It's something uh, you know, like a uh, tape recorder. You know, it's 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 something that's real. It's film, um, and it's paper. It's it's material. Um, it's not digitalized, so anything that's digitalized, okay, it's good to read and all that sort of stuff. But I think it 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 uh, takes away from the, you know, the 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 real, um, you know, why we all collected comics or you know, and 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 I think the reason why I kind of did um, is because I grew up with a lot of these superheroes on television, um, and 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 through the papers and then through the. So newspapers, uh, the funny sections, um, through the movies, um, and I've got a good collection of the you know DC and and uh, Marvel uh, movies in my video library, um, and I like having it uh, rather than you know like Netflix where you just borrow it and you pay for subscription and you never really own it. Um, it's good to have ownership of things. I I, I like the books. I like the um, the DVDs. Um, it's owned, you know, and, and no one can take that. So I think that's what collection's all about. I don't think you really can digitalize collections. I, I don't, I don't see it a, a collection. You know, it's it's just it's just on your hard drive. That's not really collecting. It's collecting files, but they're virtual files. It's not the real thing. So yeah. So anyway, all the best, guys. You know what I got? Uh, you uh, looking at trading? Um, nothing over, a th uh, nothing under a thousand. Mainly everything is over a thousand. Um, and if you've got, ser if you're a serious uh, investor, um, I'm happy to look at uh, you know, advising you and about comics, and I'm also advising you um, which ones I've got and uh, which are for sale. Uh, at the moment, nothing's for sale. Um, I think uh, I'm keeping it mainly for the girls. Um, but uh, if the price is good, maybe I might consider. But uh, I think everyone's got a price. I guess, you know, but um, I think Sarah and Rachel probably want to keep the ones that I've got anyway. Take care, guys. All the best.